Welcome back to another Smart Suite Showcase. My name is Nate, and if you're new here, this series is all about giving you insights on how customers are using our platform based on the work our onboarding team has done this past week. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at how you can use our no-code tool to optimize your consulting engagements. Ultimately, how you can use Smart Suite to estimate, allocate staff, boost utilization and profitability for these projects. If you find this video helpful and want to use the solution that I'm talking about in this video, you can go to our solution template library and download this exact solution I'm looking at. And that will be in our Smart Suite Showcase category. You can start a free trial using a link in the description below. Without further ado, let's dive right in. We're gonna take a look today at this engagement management showcase solution. Before I get into it, I'll talk about the goals of this build out here. On top of estimating, managing projects, and allocating staff to the projects, there were three main goals that the customer wanted to achieve here. The first one was to meet the price point of the project while still maintaining that profit margin of the project. Number two was to maintain utilization of their staff. Three was to make sure that once they created the estimate, ultimately meet the budget hours of the project. Now, these three goals are salient for a consulting firm because they can help you make bigger organizational decisions within your business. For example, do you need to push sales, take more projects to fulfill that utilization rate? Or do you need to go out and hire more people because your utilization rate is already high for the staff you have? So let's take a look at this engagement management showcase solution. We have six apps at the top. I'll do a quick high level overview of what is involved in each app. I will create an example project for a client and then talk about the workflow of this solution here. This client's app is going to be your CRM um, for your clients where you can at a high level see which projects you're working on for them, what the details are for this clients. Moving on, we have projects. Projects are what you're going to be working on for a particular clients. The top, we have the general information of this project. We have rate and estimate info. When you create an estimate for the project, the information is rolled up here. You can also take a look at what rate you're charging for this particular project, your profit margin, and the discount you're giving the clients here. We also can see we're linking to the estimate records. Here we have the time summary where you're looking at the total amount of work your team has done that have been billed versus the estimated time to see if you're meeting the budgeted hours you've declared for that project. And then moving down, we have the budget where you can see how much the project is actually costing versus what you said it would cost. Moving down, we can see the task for the project, what the status is of each of the tasks or the stages of this project, what the total phase cost is, and the hours you have remaining for that particular phase. Moving down, we have the team and then any attachments for this project. Estimates are broken up by phase. And this is where you're going to allocate time to particular roles of this project. In this case, we have a project lead, a senior manager, and a manager. And from there, you can calculate how much a project is going to cost based on how many hours for each role and for which phase. So if you look into this phase single select here, we can see we have values for each of the phases of project. And this represents how many hours we typically spend on each phase of the project. So for example, on the requirements phase of the project, we spend about 10 hours, five hours for the rest. This formula field here, hours remaining to allocate, tracks how much time is in each value in the single select. And then based on how much time you've allocated between the three roles, it'll say how many hours you have left to allocate. This will be relevant when I'm creating that estimate later. If I open up a record, we can see the estimate information at the top, the time, and then the cost as well. So once the estimate becomes an actual project, you can create tasks for each of the phases. And inside of this record, we have general information at the top, which phase you're in, due date, any descriptions. We have a checklist for subtasks for this particular task. And then also we have time and cost breakdown, which allows you to sum up the different hours spent for each of the roles of this project. Time tracking is an app for staff members to track the time that they spent on the tasks for a particular project. Moving on to staff, if I open up a record, we can see the more general information at the top, projects they're on, what their contract term is, their net client rating, and go down to their contact information. We can see the projects and tasks that they're working on as well. Here we have more metrics. So as an employee, how much time can you assign them per week? How much time you can assign them per quarter? and then the actual time tracked for tasks of a project. Here is where utilization is tracked, where you can see how many hours they've actually worked and compare it to these two fields up here. And as a result, we can get quarterly utilization rate and then any files at the bottom. Now that you understand the structure a bit more, I'll create an example project and walk through each phase of this workflow just so you understand it very well. So I just created this showcase project, which is for a new client. Let's create the client right here. It automatically links back to this project. Let's say we had a budget of $5,000. Let's save it. The next step would be to move it into the estimating phase or the scoping phase. So let's change the status here with the scoping. When we save this record, 
If we move over to estimates through an automation, records are going to be created for that project. So here you can look and declare how much time you want each role to spend for each phase of the project. Let's say you want the project lead to take 10 hours of the requirements, the senior manager to take the planning and design. You want the manager to take five hours of the build, the delivery you want split between project lead and the senior manager. And then the change management, you want to split between the manager and the senior manager. So after you break down how much time you want each role to spend on each phase, you're going to get a sum of the estimated costs of this project right here. And as you can see, it's $6,250. Our budget for this project is $5,000. So we might need to change how much time each role spends on each phase because our project lead is going to be the most expensive resource. So what we can do, change some of these values here. Maybe I want to allocate two hours to the manager and take some away from the project lead. Also give all of the change management to the manager, which also reduces the cost. Now you can see we're at $6,000. Let's say you didn't really wanna take any more time away from the more expensive resources and give them to the less expensive resources. You can move back to projects, open up the showcase project, and you can go to the percent discount and start adding a discount to the rates you're gonna be charging this client to actually fit their budget. So let's do 5% discount for this example. I'll hit Command S to save this. We can see our profit margin just moved down to 102%. And also the total estimate cost changed. Now we still don't meet the budget for this project, so let's give another discount. So I'll go 10% and save it. Profit margin is still 80%, which is good, but our total estimate cost is still not hitting that 5,000 mark. I'll save this right here. And we've almost hit that estimate cost. I'll add it to 18.5% and let's save it here. Our profit margin is still above 40%, so that's good. And it looks like we've met the budget, which is tracked right here. Now that you're happy with the estimate you created for this project and you want to start doing the work, what you can do is first assign the team members to this project. Now, in order to decide which team members you want to include this project, you can click this link to the staff members and you can look at some fields that are important when assigning the project. First, the overall utilization of the staff. You might want to select the staff that are being less utilized. Now what we're going to do is change the status to in progress and save the record. And then when we move over to tasks, the records are going to be created for each phase of the project with some different fields than you track an estimate. Inside of this task record is where the description for the task is going to live. You can create these directly from the automation if there's a templated set of things that need to happen for each phase that goes into this project. Now, when the work is being done, your staff can go to the time tracking app and start tracking time for the work they're doing for those tasks of the project. I'll go ahead and create some more records to show the time track between the three staff members we allocated to this project. So I've created some time tracking records for our staff members. When we go back to the project and open up our showcase project, we can see that information is summarized. You can see we've spent five hours for the project leader, five for the senior manager, and 12 for the manager. We're comparing it to what we've created in that estimate. We can also see how much we're spending on the project based on how much time has been tracked by our different roles and comparing it to the total budget to get our remaining budget right here. As your team's working on this project and the project cost goes up, it can be all tracked in this all projects view directly here. I've also created some views that can help you reach those goals I've described at the start of this video. First off, project profitability. This chart view is looking at the profit margin of all our projects and it's grouping it by the project. Here we can see which project is most profitable. We can also use our chart total that takes the average of the profit margin to see what our average profit margin. For this showcase project, we can see this profit margin of 42 is a little bit lower than average. This is something you'd want to look at when you're in that estimating phase to see if you even want to take on the project. And if you did take on the project, how you'd want to increase this profit margin, for example, by utilizing your cheaper resources or giving less of a discount to your clients. Moving over to the staff, I want to show you how the utilization is being calculated. So if I open up a record and go down to utilization, these formulas are something at the time tracked on a quarterly basis. And then this formula here is putting the billable hours over the total hours available for a particular quarter, and then adding the 100 to make it a percent value. And using a chart view, we can see employee utilization on a quarterly basis. We also have a dynamic filter where we can check out and only see the project leaders. In this case, we only have Monica, but you can compare the utilization of all your project leaders. You could also check out senior managers 
and also managers. If you want to get more specific with exactly how your utilization is working between not just the staff in your business, but also the roles in your business. The reason why SmartSuite is such a good tool for engagement management is because you can house the estimating process, the project process, the staff allocation process all in one space. It allows you to track the staff allocation while you're estimating. It allows you to compare that estimate to other projects you worked on to see if it's a project worth taking on. And then it allows you to compare the work you've done for that project to the estimate of the project, which helps you stay within the budget timeframe you've allocated for this project to make sure the work you're doing for the customer meets their expectations and they stay happy. And that wraps up this Smart Suite Showcase. If you have any recommendations for a future showcase and you want to see it, please leave it in the comments below as long as with any questions you have. I'll make sure to answer. Once again, if you found this video helpful, make sure to follow and you can download our template inside of our solution template library. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next Monday.